guys welcome back to my new episodes of my blog my name is just prince and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell to make it sure that you will be notified on my uploaded videos in this blog i would like to share to you about the new website and the new way where to apply going here in finland school namin pumunta yung uh, different uh, organization na pwede makatulong sa inyo para sa inyong pag apply or sa inyong journey dito sa Finland. On this vlog, I just downloaded this video na tatingin ko na mga katulong sa inyo na pumunta dito sa Finland at pwede mag-apply. So, yeah, panoodin nyo lang yung video na to at yes, panoodin nyo lang siya at sundin nyo yung instruction kung paano nga mag-apply sa Kinawanla. So, kasi meron sila ngayong summer job. So, baka pwede kayo pumunta dito for summer job then after na summer job pag nagustuhan naman kayo ng employer or pwede kayo absorb ng company para mag continue yung inyong uh, application or yung uh, trabaho nyo dito sa Finland Okay, welcome to Summer Job Information My name is Johanna Järvikivi and I work at the Integration Port uh, I am one of them who can help you to apply a job uh, In this summer summer job information we will tell you why you should apply for summer jobs where you can apply for jobs and when it's time to apply and actually the companies at the Jakobstad reason uh, have already published hundreds of summer jobs today we will hear experts from TE office Concordia Ehja and Romburten and the office will start the program. Please, Anne, you can continue. Yes, welcome also on my behalf to this summer job info today. My name is Anne Bilen and I work at Employment Office Integration Services together with my colleague Anne-Sophie Lindstrom, who is also here today. Yes, and I would like to show you shortly some useful tips and links for finding a summer job. So first of all, it's good, it's good to remember that your best asset in job seeking is actually you. So think about your strengths, think about what is good, uh, what makes you a good worker and uh, try to put that uh, on, on, uh, on your job seeking application and, and CV when you apply for the summer jobs. So most of the job seeking today happens online. So check on time that you have an email address that actually works. Create a CV. Uh, you can find many models, ready models for a good CV and job application documents online. Ask for references from your previous practice places, teachers, acquaintances, and so on. It's good to have someone who knows you to, to say some, some positive things about you as an employee. Be active. Call or email before and after applying a job so that you can show that you're actually interested and motivated to start working. Also, apply as many jobs as possible. 
here I will go through some useful links for you. So first of all, you can find information on available jobs from Employment Office website. We have a search engine for open vacancies. And here, for example, you can write to this word search, summer job. And for your location, you can choose from the list our area, Ostrobotnia. And then when you scroll down, so you can see that with these uh, search words, in, in our area, you can find 19 jobs. So this is search word in, in English. And if you use also Swedish or Finnish, you will get a lot more uh, results. And for example, here in Peder Söret, so it's fresh, they are looking for 100 new colleagues to do summer job this year. You can also check our old um, website for uh, searching summer job. This uh, service we have only in Finnish or Swedish. And here to CINT location, you can write, for example, Pietar Sari. And choose it from the list and then show. So at the moment in Pietar Sari, we have 104 open jobs. And you can scroll down the list and see if there's something that might be suitable for you. Here, for example, if you click on the advertisement, you can see more close description of the job. From the information is it's the, the information of the summer job in short contact details to the employer, for example. And see also more closely our website for tips for finding a job. So here you can see uh, what you should do in different um, phases of your job seeking. So before sending a sub job application, so here are some things to consider. Here you can read more about what makes a good CV or an interesting application letter. Here you can find information even on how to make a video application. So, and when, when it's time to go to a job interview, so you can uh, read our tips for preparing for the interview well. Uh, if you want to reach many uh, employers, so you can also create a job applicant profile from our website. Here is a step-by-step -step guide how to create a job applicant profile. So first you need to log in and the login button you can find here at the uh, top of our website. Employment Office, so we have also other services which support job seeking. So let's take a look at those. We offer uh, guidance uh, for your career, also for later on, if you if you want to decide what to do uh, after, after your studies, for example. If you need more help with uh, job seeking, so you can take part to our short courses for sub job search. These are usually five days courses, both online and on site, where you can learn uh, how to practically search for jobs and write your CV and job applicant. We have also career coaching, which is a little bit longer from 20 to 40 days long course, where you can also consider and uh, plan your future career and which steps you need to take to, to reach your goals. We can book an appointment to our job coach for you. It's usually one or one and a half 
hours appointment where you get to write your CV or job documents ready, where you can get more information on available jobs and so on. If you don't find work, a summer job straight away, you can also take part to work try out. This is a, a, an agreement between employment office, you and employer about a try out at a working place. You don't get salary for this, but you are you can be eligible to unemployment benefits during the work try out. And you get uh, good experience from from different workplaces through this work tryout and it can also lead to a job. You can ask uh, us from employment office that are you eligible to this pay subsidy? In practice, this means that employment office can support your job seeking by paying back part of the salary that the employer who has employed you uh, is paying to you. Usually this amount that the employment office uh, is paying uh, can be from 30 to 50 percent of the salary costs for the employer. So, so come and ask if you are eligible to this pay subsidy. You will get a, a card uh, which is stating that you have a uh, right to do this pay subsidy from employment office and you can use it in your job seek. Employment office in Jakobstad in Pietarsari. So we are here to help you with your job seeking. We have our phone services every day uh, at this number available in English. Phone services are also available in Finnish and in Swedish. We have an email address you can use to contact us. And uh, if you have your own online banking codes to a Finnish bank, you can log in with your banking codes to our website. And through there, you can see your own job seeking profile and you can send contact requests to us. Employment office in Jakobstad is open on Thursdays and Fridays at 9 to 12 and then again in the afternoon from 1 to 4 o'clock. Good luck with your job seeking also on our behalf. Next, Heidi Martin Lassi from Concordia will continue with her presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. And uh, yes, uh, my name is, as uh, Anne told, Heidi Martin Lassi, and uh, I work at the uh, Jakobstad Region Development Company, Concordia, uh, as a project manager for uh, talent attraction. Uh, and uh, let me see. Yes, uh, summer jobs in the Jakobstad region. I'll tell you a little bit more about our region first, where we are uh, and where we live. Uh, the Jakobstad region is five municipalities. Uh, Jakobstad Pietarsari is the region center, but then there's also Kronoby, Pedersöre, uh, Larsmo and Nikolevy, the four other municipalities. And our task in the development company Concordia is to help uh, companies and businesses uh, to grow and of course to start businesses and um, help them to find the labor, of course, to they need. And um, planning different kind of events and arranging together with uh, uh, with our uh, com uh, colleagues in different organizations in this region. We are about 50,000 inhabitants and uh, we have 
vibrant center, region center, happy inhabitants. You can have really safe childhood and uh, our rural area is also prosperous. About the uh, businesses in, uh, in our region is that we are really many companies, 6,800 companies. Most of them are small companies, uh, but we have some bigger companies as well. Uh, totally 22,200 workplaces in within these companies. And uh, our export value is high in, in if you're comparing in the whole Finland. So it's almost 2 billion euros per year. As I said, entrepreneurial people and uh, a lot of cooperation. Uh, and uh, here's some about the diversified economy. We we are really uh, glad and uh, and uh, happy about. The manufacturing industry is a big big sector in in our region and uh, you said that uh, you can see and uh, that this is also the manufacturing industry is very diversified and the biggest branches the biggest fields are food industry paper plastic uh, metal and boat industries but of course we have other sectors that need people all the time as well. Here are the 30 biggest private employers and how they are located in, in our region. And uh, these same 30 biggest employers are here listed according to the amount of employees they have. So you can see many of you know about Snellman and they are the biggest private employer, of course. So here's where uh, you can find the summer jobs uh, in the Jakobstad region and uh, and uh, Ostrobotnia as well. Uh, J uh, the Ostrobotnia Chamber of Commerce uh, have, have this summer job campaign again this year and uh, it's called Employ the Youth Campaign. You can find uh, companies from this list. It, it's um, in three three languages and uh, and uh, the link is here and you can uh, find it on the Ostrobotnia Chamber of Commerce uh, web page as well. But you can also follow the hashtag employ the youth. And uh, it's uh, also in Finnish palkka nuori hashtag and in uh, Swedish uh, anstell unga. Also, our website, the Jakobstad region website, uh, is a good place to get know to many of companies within our region. We have uh, our own page for just work here. It's called that. And uh, there are several companies presented, linked to directly, where you can read more about interesting companies in different fields. And uh, they have also open applications uh, on their websites, of course. And also on our work here company uh, website, we have what Anne told before here, these uh, TE services, uh, uh, open, open positions, and there you can find more, more open positions, even, even summer jobs, but other open positions. Uh, here's some of the companies named 
who are searching for summer workers and uh, direct link to them as well. And uh, from our web website, the Jakobstad region website, you can also come into the business and company directory where all over 6,800 companies in our region are listed. How you can and where you can uh, find summer job is, of course, from these link links and the companies directly, which are named before. But also, you can activate yourself uh, in social media, searching Google, and uh, of course, follow the local newspapers. Uh, where you can find more ads. And as uh, Anna told before, you, uh, you have to activate yourself, but keep your CV updated as well and, and read how, what are these companies looking for. So you answer, answer to those questions with your application. Is a uh, normal text CV application uh, still is it working or should you uh, prefer a video application uh, these are some some of the questions you you have to find out um, and uh, you can get some tools and help also to to make a good CV uh, Big companies are searching for summer workers at the moment very actively and uh, so don't wait to send in your application and uh, send it to several interesting workplaces. Um, there's also some events coming up, job fairs, recruitment events uh, and uh, those you can also find more information about in our on our website. Here's the first coming job fair on Wednesday, 25th of January at 2.30 till 5 p.m. at Optima in Jakobstad Pietarsari. It's called Opti Career Day. And uh, there's about 30 companies from different fields, different sizes, uh, who are offering summer jobs and other jobs as well. We have uh, different education schools present at the Opti Career Day as well, and TE services, for example, to help you to, to plan your career. And um, there's also a panel discussion at 4 p.m., about 45 minute, minutes long, and it's about international workplaces and work culture in the Jakobstad region. A Facebook event is also created, so you can follow the event and, uh, and from there as well. And so please welcome to, to meet all these different companies who are offering some jobs and, and have open positions. Uh, they, they are gladly to, to meet you to, there. So Wednesday, 25th of January, next week in the, in the afternoon at Optima. There's also uh, so-called uh, job fair recruitment event coming up in during the summer festival week, Jakobsdagar, Jakompeivat, on Wednesday, 19th of July. So make, uh, make that note to your calendar all, already now, so you're prepared. Uh, it's normally approximately 
20 to 30 companies represented also at that event. We have also a mingle event coming up, uh, Social Wednesday in, uh, in the end of May or in the beginning of June. And about these two latest events, you can read more about from our website, jakobstadregion.fi. And all these events are uh, free of charge and open for everyone, and they don't need any registration either. So you're warmly welcome to these events and get to know more about the jobs and career possi possibilities in the Jakobstad region. Thank you from behalf of me and my colleagues at the Jakobstad region. Uh, development company Concordia. Be in contact and uh, see, see you hopefully on these events coming up as well and uh, good luck. And now the next speaker is Johanna from Ehja. So please, Johanna. You're welcome. Yes, thank, <clears throat> thank you, Heidi. Yes, I'm from Ehja and encouraging experiences. Uh, use me a moment. Yes, so I will tell you about our our uh, place, exp uh, encouraging experiences, and we support young immigrants between 14 and 29 years old in the job searching process. Uh, together, we practice to look for jobs, write CV, write job applications and a lot of other important things like uh, how to speak to employers and how to behave in job interviews. This is free for all young people and everybody can join. Uh, you just call me or write me an email. The most important thing is that you, you want to search for a job yourself. Uh, looking for a summer job can sometimes feel difficult, especially if you don't know where to look or, or how to write uh, job applications. So that's why we are here to, to help you. Yes, thank you. Now, next in turn to, to speak is Romani Porti. So please continue. Thank you, Johanna. So, oh. um, <clears throat> hello from the Roma Gate, Romani Porti or Rom Purtan. Um, my name is Karolien Alvikario and I work here as a project manager. Uh, so, what is the Roma Gate and where are we? Why are we here? Uh, the Roma Gate is a project actualized by the Deaconess Foundation and in cooperation with the city of Pietarsari. And this is our last year with the project and we will continue until July, uh, at least in this present form. Uh, the project is 
founded by the European Social Fund and our um, purpose is to advance uh, participation, education and employment and to support Bulgarian and Romanian people in the Pietarsar region. Uh, this means in practice that we in various ways uh, help people with job applications, with finding an education or a course to apply for. Uh, and on a very general level, we support Bulgarian and Romanian people in their contact with various authorities or whatever everyday issues they might have. Uh, our premises are in the city hall, so anyone is welcome to visit us here. As I said, um, my name is Karolien and um, I'm the project manager here and I speak Swedish, Finnish and English. Uh, but since we provide services for Bulgarian and Romanian people, we have also two uh, experts of experience. We have Svetoslava Nikolova, uh, who is uh, Bulgarian and she speaks other than Bulgarian, she also speaks Romani and Swedish. And she is also very good with communicating uh, with different languages related to the Russian language. And then uh, not present today, but still with us, we also have uh, now this is not visible. Anyway, uh, Florica Nicolaescu, who is a Romanian expert of experience, and she speaks Romanian and Swedish. <clears throat> so you have already gotten many great tips for how to apply for summer jobs. Uh, so I will try not to repeat them, but instead I thought I would say a few words about what obstacles there might be for getting a summer job or a job at all, uh, because not everyone who wants a job will get one. So at the Roma Gate, we have done some research, uh, which partly is about what obstacles there are for migrant Roma to, to get a job or what makes up the different challenges in the, the application process itself. And so some of the reasons that, that uh, we have seen is that people don't have a sufficient CV. This means you don't have uh, enough or you have very little uh, education or work experience, uh, which is even the same for many, especially young Finnish people. So this is not only for, for immigrants, of course. Uh, another reason is that you don't meet the language qualifications of the employer, um, or you simply have uh, not language skills enough to even apply for a job independently. Uh, another reason is that you are not active enough in the application process. You need to, as we already heard, you need to maybe call beforehand and after you uh, fill out your application and you need to really uh, show that you want a job. Uh, and if you don't show this, that will be an obstacle for you. Also, in this region, the networks and social networks is really important. And if you don't have the cousins or the friends or the previous workmates to, to open doors for you at the job markets, this might also be uh, an obstacle. And, and sad but true is also that many immigrants experience uh, some level of racism either in the application process or at the workplace. Uh, although this is not everywhere and for everyone, but it it can be good to be prepared for that as well. So, but I'm not coming here only with bad news, but also with some some encouraging words, I hope, because um, applying for jobs is rarely fair. It's not always reasonable or you don't understand the decisions someone makes and the process is also not simple. But you are not alone. You don't have to manage alone. You don't need to apply for jobs alone. So find someone who supports you with your job search. Some supportive people you have already seen in this uh, um, summer job info. 
situation, we are all here for you. And there are also other people uh, that you can reach out to. You don't need to know how to do your own CV. Do it together with someone who knows how to do it. Uh, you also don't need to know how to fill out an application yourself. It can be really difficult. You might not even understand everything that uh, an employer is asking for. Do it together with someone. Um, maybe it feels really stressful to go for a job interview. Practice beforehand with someone who knows something about it. Be active and call employers. But if it feels too hard to do it alone, do it together with someone. That's all right to do it like that. And when you've sent in an application or many applications, it can feel like the time moves very slowly because you really would want to have the decision right away. Uh, but while you wait for the decision, you can strengthen your position on the job market. You can uh, attend a course. For example, here at the Roma Gate, we facilitate, uh, for instance, hygiene passports, work safety courses uh, for Bulgarian and Romanian people. We have translators present and our goal is to provide a course that all people, even people who can't read and write Swedish or Finnish, can participate and they can uh, pass the course. Uh, just with the right support, it is possible. Find places where you can practice Swedish and Finnish because you will need that at the work market anyways. Go to the gym, speak to people. Go to the church, speak to people. When you drop off your child at uh, some kind of hobby, speak to the children's parents. Take every opportunity to practice language skills. Also, if you're sick, you can't work. So take care of your health. It's really important. But most importantly, surround yourself with supportive people who cheer you on. Because you might not always believe in yourself and your skills. And when you don't, it is really good to be reminded of just how fantastic you are. And now Svetoslava will say a few words um, in um, Bulgarian. Здравейте, приятели! Казвам се Светослава Николова и работя в този проект Ромската порта. Този проект е за всички българи и за всички румънци. А, искаме да ви кажем, ако имате нужда от помощ за лятна работа или за училище, ние сме тук за да ви помогнем, не се чувствайте сами. А, искаме да ви дадем малко информация какво ви предлагаме ние а, чрез този проект а, в следващите няколко месеца. А, ще имаме а, курс на 26 януари а, за МОПО карта. На 7 и 14 февруари ще имаме хигиенна карта също. На 15 и 22 март също ще имаме един кратък курс за козметик. Uh, на 5 април имаме компютърен uh, курс и на 16 май имаме курс за пър, първа помощ карта. Всички сте добре дошли. Ако имате някой интерес, може да се свържете с нас за повече информация. Благодаря ви. Так. So, this was... I don't know why this is not moving forward. But anyways, I want to thank you for your attention. This was all from uh, the Roma Gaze. Our contacts will appear at some point here. I don't know why the presentation is not showing it. Um, but and every all Bulgarian and Romanian people are welcome to our project and anyone else can also just pop in for a cup of coffee. Thank you. Okay, thank you all. Um, 
Uh, Our contact information comes on the screen now. Uh, I and I was want to wish you all good luck with your summer jobs and hope you find yours.